in Amanda Knox's case, we saw just how powerful the media can be. Amanda believes that it worked against her, but in the case of Rodney Reed, we're trying to harness the power of the media to save a man who many believe is innocent. On October 11th, we aired a two-part show about this. Here's the latest on what has transpired since I spoke to Rodney on death row. I didn't do this crime, and here they are trying to take my life. What do you make of the fact that they're not rushing to give you a new hearing and bring all of this to light? The courts are still unwilling to listen. So far, more than two million people have signed an online petition to stop his execution. A death row inmate in Texas faces execution in just two weeks unless a campaign can persuade the governor to intervene. Here at the Capitol, Republicans and Democrats don't see eye to eye on much, but a bipartisan group of lawmakers agree Rodney Reed's case needs to be considered again. Since we started beating the drum on this. 26 House members have now sent a letter. Then a bipartisan group of 16 state senators joined with a letter to Governor Abbott and the Texas Board of Pardons and Paroles urging that a reprieve be granted, as did members of the Texas Legislative Black Caucus. Senator Ted Cruz joined. The state lawmakers and other celebrities have gotten involved. These chants. Rider Reed today, Rider Reed tomorrow. Days before Rodney Reed is set to be executed. We've been in the streets for 22 and a half years. Rodney Reed's family continues fighting for his innocence as they have for over two decades. If we don't do the call to action, which is reaching out to the governor of Texas and others, I have no doubt this man is going to be executed. If we don't do something, this man's gonna be executed. We've got almost three million signatures on the free Rodney Reed case.com. There is breaking news tonight in Texas. The state's highest criminal court halted the execution of inmate Rodney Reed. The judges ruled that there may be new facts and evidence that could affect his conviction. He was scheduled to die in five days for a 1996 rape and murder. As the news broke Friday afternoon, the Rodney Reed camp celebrated the decision that saved his life. I don't know when, when we're going to get an opportunity to get that fair trial, but I know we're headed that way. The Court of Criminal Appeals found the state may have suppressed evidence and presented false testimony during the 1998 trial. For example, Jimmy Finnell, Stacy Stites' then fiance, told a jury that he didn't kill him. Later, court docs show he confessed to another inmate in jail, saying, I had to kill my N word loving fiance. Give him a fair trial, listen to the witnesses, me amongst a lot of other people. Honestly, just look at the evidence. Well, as you see, when, when we do bring attention to it, people are outraged at, at what happened. And there are so many out there that don't get any attention. You're dealing with another case you mentioned. Say a few words about that one. Yes, thank you. Um, I was on, uh, down on death row in Texas in uh, the beginning of this year, visiting a guy named Rob Will. And Rob is just as innocent as uh, Rodney is. And uh, it's, a, it's a terrible case. Um, in this case, uh, Rob was convicted of uh, murdering a police officer, tragic crime. But uh, he was in handcuffs at the time the officer was shot. He actually, his, his, the, the other person that was there uh, went and shot the, the, the officer and then removed Rob's handcuffs and then went to shoot him again. And Rob went to try to prevent that from happening, got shot through the hand. You saw that, right? right. And he was a victim of so, I mean, everything that could go wrong went wrong in this case. I mean, you can go to freerobwill.org and you'll see some of the things about his case. And a federal judge, Keith Ellison, said there are grave errors in every phase of these proceedings. And he said there is a total lack of scientific or eyewitness evidence <clears throat> in this case. There's no evidence. And yet there he sits on death row, pending a decision from the Fifth Circuit or intervention from the governor. This is where I see the parallels here. Because when you break it down, and I have, there was no evidence against you either. I know, and what's, what's frustrating about it is, in Rodney's case, just like in my case, they went after the wrong person anyway. I spent four years in prison 
And that was horrible. I'll never get those years back. But there are people in prison right now who have been inside longer than I've been alive.